Hi, my name is Lindsay Berry. I help female entrepreneurs get better at marketing. If you want to learn more about me or the Fempreneur Marketing School that I created, you can go to yycfempreneurs.com. Today's video is all about creating automated emails to go with your landing pages that you create on MailChimp. You're creating landing pages for a number of reasons. You're creating them to give away something for free to your audience, maybe a downloadable PDF, maybe it's a video, some sort of a training, or maybe it's a live event that they're signing up for. Now, once they're on that landing page and they've completed your form, they've entered their information, you want them to, after they hit the submit button, to be able to go over to their email and get some information. You want them to be able to get that download. You want them to be, be able to um, you know, get more event details, directions, uh, a Zoom link perhaps. So how do you create that email that automatically goes into their inbox while you're sleeping or walking your dog or having a beer on the patio with your friend? That's what I'm gonna show you today. So the first step is building that landing page. So in MailChimp, you wanna create your landing page. So click create here on the left and click landing page. We'll call this a sample landing page. We're gonna send it to my Fempreneur community audience. Here's the thing about landing pages. You only want to build from a MailChimp template once, maybe two or three times over the next few years. But what you want to do is build a landing page template and then you want to reuse it by replicating it. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Instead of creating from scratch, I'm going to click on campaigns because I have landing pages that I've used in the past and I just want to tweak a couple of details and you know, I don't want to start from scratch every time. So this down arrow on the far right here, you can replicate that. So you can replicate that landing page, change some of the information and work with it that way. So that's what you're going to do after you've created your first landing page. So once you have your landing page, what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's set up to tag the people that go to that particular landing page. So for instance, I'm tagging people who register for summer marketing school. And then once they're tagged, they receive an automated email that only that tag receives. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. I think you're, I think you're gonna be able to do this really easily because I'm gonna show you how. It's really not that hard. Um, however, MailChimp, because it's free, they don't offer you a lot of help. Actually, they offer you zero help. That's why you have me. So stick with me, subscribe to my channel below, and I will keep you in the loop on all the nerdy things about MailChimp. All right, so we're gonna edit this. So you're gonna add a tag. Now the thing is, if you've never created a tag, then you have no tags. So let's go over and I'll show you how to create a tag. So what you wanna do in audience, I click on audience. And then I click on manage contacts and I click on tags. And then I click create a tag. And then you type your tag name and you click create. And then it will appear when you're building your landing page. I'll show you how to do that. So now that you've created your tag, we can go back into campaigns and we're going to have a look here. So once you've got some tags, then you can actually look at different tag options. You always want them to go to the one audience that you have, but you can add, so you could add multiple tags here. I'm just tagging these, these girls as one thing, and that is summer school registrants. Now what we want to make sure is that email goes out to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this automate button, and we're going to create an automated email. So we're going to click this here, email subscribers when they're tagged. Yes, we want them. We'll, we'll call this summer school 2020 and begin. So before we build the email, we're telling MailChimp who we want them to send this email to. So right here, trigger one day after tag is added to the contact. Please select a tag. We're going to edit that. We don't actually want it to happen one day. We want it to happen immediately after they sign up on that landing page. And the tag we're gonna use is the Summer School 2020 tag. Update the trigger and you're done. Awesome, now we just need to design the email. And I've already got a template built for this. So what I need to do is just build out this information here. 
All right. And now, um, instead of building the email from scratch, I've got a saved template that I can use. And it's right here. Emprinter Marketing School confirmation, June 2020. All right, everything looks good. Save and continue. So we're all set. Hit the next button in the bottom right. Start sending. You're about to start a workflow which contains one email to the Fempreneur community. Start sending. So that is your basic, basic automation that you have to have in place if you're building landing pages, ladies. If you're building landing pages for your free gift that's on your website, that way to build a relationship with them, you want to make sure that automated email has a picture of you, a little bit about you and why you care about them. Definitely your social channel links and definitely a link to your website. I hope that's helpful and I hope to see you real soon over on Facebook or Instagram at YYC Fempreneurs. Have a great day.